cutting through 48 miles of Central America and allowing for the transport of hundreds of millions of tons of cargo yearly, this man-made waterway, essential for international maritime trade, is one of the seven wonders of the modern world. It was necessary for the United States to become an imperial power and remains a spectacle of technology and transportation. This is the story of the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal, as the name suggests, is a canal that juts through a thin strip of Central America, located in what is now the country of Panama. The idea for a canal in this region dates back to the 1500s, when King Charles I of Spain had his regional governor survey the area, which had become a Spanish colony in 1509. At the time, his idea was impossible to achieve. The French were the first to attempt building a canal in 1881, at which point was located in the Independent Republic of Colombia. However, weather and disease prevented them building, and the project stopped in 1888. In the 1900s, the United States found a need for the canal to help naval and commercial ships avoid going around South America. U.S. naval ships needed to protect U.S. possessions around the world, like Hawaii, Guam, and other Asian territories. The canal saved ships about two weeks of travel time by shaving off 7,872 miles from their journey. When France began their attempt at construction in 1881, developed countries were in the midst of the Second Industrial Revolution. This was a time of great economic expansion, with the arrival of modern cities and massive railroad construction. This time period is also known as the Gilded Age in the United States. One year before the U.S. had started their attempt at construction, they had finished fighting the Philippine-American War from 1899 to 1902, and Panama broke away from Colombia in 1903. World War I started 18 days before the U.S. completed the canal in August 1914, with the United States entering the war three years later. Driving forces for the United States to construct the canal were the needs created by United States imperialism. During the period known as New Imperialism, from the 1880s to World War I, many European powers sought to expand their reach across the globe via imperialistic practices. A primary focus during this period was the continent of Africa. In what is known as the Scramble for Africa, the landmass was divided up at the Berlin Conference for the acquisition by European imperialist forces. The United States was also seeking to assert its might as a world power by expanding its own reach. From 1867 to 1899, the United States acquired the Midway Islands, the Hawaiian Islands, the Philippine Islands, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, and Wake Island. In imperialism, territories served two purposes. One was for the gain of natural resources. The other was the establishment of a new market for trade. In order to trade with, with and protect these new territories, the United States needed a way to effectively sail trading and naval ships to these territories. A solution for this was envisioned in the Panama Canal. Constructing a canal became an achievable feat in 1902 when U.S. Congress passed the Spooner Act, which allowed for the purchase of French assets and the constructions of a canal if agreements could be reached with Colombia, of which Panama was a part. Negotiations with Colombia broke down and the U.S. began to heavily support Panamanian independence. When Panama gained their independence, they worked out a treaty with the United States that established the Panama Canal Zone and satisfied the Spooner Act. Shortly afterwards, construction was able to begin. Construction of the Panama Canal spanned 10 years. The Panama Canal Zone was split into three sections, the Atlantic, the Central, and the Pacific. A project manager was appointed for each. Excavation occurred quickly because of the pressure to complete the canal. By 1907, about three quarters of a million cubic meters were being excavated each month, and the rate would continue to e increase dramatically. The most challenging aspect of excavation was the Continental Divide which was made of hard rock and rose 100 meters above sea level. Eventually, the divide was excavated and dubbed the Colbra Cut. As a result of construction, France and the United States suffered 20,000 and 5,600 deaths, respectively. The Panama Canal officially opened on August 14, 1914. It cost the United States $375 million, which made it the most expensive U.S. construction project at that time. Initially, the canal fell under U.S. control. 
This caused tension between the United States and Panama governments. In 1977, U.S. President Jimmy Carter signed treaties with Omar Torrijo, the head of government in Panama, with the effect of transferring the control of the Panama Canal to Panama in 1999. It is now operated by the Panama Canal Authority. The canal connects 1,700 ports to 160 countries. Under U.S. control in 1914, a thousand ships passed through. In 2017, 13,500 ships transported 240 million tons of cargo through its docks. The Erie Canal, stretching 363 miles, is located in New York State and began construction on July 4, 1817. This canal cost seven million dollars and took eight years to build, while opening on October 26, 1825. Like the Panama Canal, the Erie Canal served as a major conduit. The, tr the transportation of people and goods. The waterway helped New York become a financial capital and became critical in supplying the Union during the Civil War. Like the Panama Canal, the Erie Canal was essential for trade. However, the Panama Canal operates on a much larger scale and has the additional use of allowing the global mobilization of naval forces. Overall, the Panama Canal benefited U.S. commercialism and imperialism. It is an idea dating back centuries, built over a hundred years ago, and still used today. And that was the story of the Panama Canal.